Hello friends, I am Shushant Raghavan. Welcome to Technical and Quality Session. For understanding the technical requirements and quality standards in clothing industry, making a sustainable garment, I have good practical experience in the apparel manufacturing sector. My skills are CAD pattern making, sample development, technical requirements, and measuring quality performance. Today's session is about what is seam and seam strength in textiles. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin the presentation. What is seam and seam strength? Seam strength factors and its causes of failure. What is seam in garments? Seam is created by sewing two pieces of fabric together. It is a method of joining two or more pieces of materials together by a row of stitching. Ready-made garment seams have utility as well as aesthetic value and certain characteristics are necessary for the seams such as strength, elasticity, durability, security and appearance. It is a basic construction method for any project in fabric. Seam can be generated by hand sewing and machine sewing. It can also be created with fusion through chemical bonding. Outer can be used in a variety of ways. They are lightweight, durable and abrasion resistant and can be cut into shapes and patterns as decorative elements. Seam types The British standard divides stitched seams into 8 classes according to the minimum number of parts that make up the seam. These parts can be the main fabrics of the garment or some additional item such as a lace, braid or elastic. Seam classes Class 1 Superimposed seam Class 2 Lap seam Class 3 Bond seams, class 4 flat seams, class 5 decorative or ornamental stitching, class 6 edge finishing or neatening, class 7 attaching of separate items, class 8 single ply construction. In this presentation, we will discuss about seam strength and its causes of failure. What is seam strength? Generally, we know that seam strength is the strength of seam assembly in a garment. Actual seam strength depends on seam type, the stitch type, stitch density, fabric strength, thread strength and the tension of thread which is applied in the seam. For some applications, seam strength is a serious issue. In these applications, seam materials play a structural role such as in large tents, climbing equipment, harnesses, restraint systems, inflatable boats, parachutes, sailboat sails, hot air balloons, etc. Factors of seam strength Fabric properties Material type, weight density, weave strength, abrasion resistance Thread properties Material type, weight density, ply strength, abrasion resistance Seam construction How many layers of fabric are in the seam and how they are folded Stitch type, stitch length, thread tension, also thread handling of the machine and the needle affect the seam strength. Plenty of testing, make sure that nothing is overlooked or taken for granted and that you can identify and solve any problems. Optimization and sweet spots A sweet spot is a size or value that gives maximum performance, also known as an optimum value. Optimization is the process of finding sweet spots. For example, let's find the sweet spot for stitch length that gives maximum strength. Start with a medium value. In this case, we will start with a medium stitch length of 2 mm for the fabric and thread size we are using. Sew a test seam with the stitch length set to 2 mm and also sew two more test seams with the stitch length set somewhat shorter and longer, say 1.5 mm and 2.5 mm. Test the seam strength of these three test seams by trying to pull them apart. Make a note of which one is the strongest. If the strongest seam is the middle value 2mm stitch length, then you have hit the sweet spot on the first try. If the strongest seam is the 2.5mm stitch length, then you may want to retest with a stitch length of 3mm. If the 2.5 stitch length is the strongest, then that is your sweet spot. If not, then test at 3.5mm and so on until you are sure you have found the sweet spot. Optimization can be used for any parameter including stitch type, stitch length, 
seat weight, thread size, fabric weight, etc. For regular sewing projects, doing optimization is overload. But if you are working on applications in which sewing materials play a structural role, then optimization and extensive testing is mandatory. Safety factor. For projects in which sewing materials play a structural role, always be sure to design in a safety factor. For example, if you are sewing and testing a harness that needs to support a 100 pound working load, then you must design and test for a load that is substantially higher than 100 pounds, say 300 pounds. This gives a safety margin to counteract factors that can detract from the strength of the item over time, such as wear and tear, washing, UV light exposure, etc. Seam failure causes Fabric view slippage Seam slippage is when the yarns in the fabric are not rupturing, but sliding out of the seam, causing the seam to open up. If this is the problem, then we recommend the following. Increase the seam allowance or seam margin. Re-engineer the seam construction so that all the stress is not trying to separate the warp and filling yarns in the fabric. Use a French felt seam construction. Use a fusible tape on the areas where the seams are failing. Contact your fabric supplier for assistance. Fabric failure. If fabric failure is occurring due to the yarns in the fabric being ruptured, you can sometimes change the seam design to reduce this problem. This might include building more fullness at the location where the seams are failing. Add reinforcements to the seam construction with multiple thickness of fabric, etc. Reduce the number of SPI if you think that needle penetration are damaging the fabric. This may require going to a larger end or stronger thread to minimize the possibilities of seam failure due to thread failure. Other potential causes of fabric failure might include defective fabric or fabric with low tensile for the application. Using too large of a needle causing fabric damage. Thread breakage. Make sure your thread is okay, degraded or substandard thread is a common problem. Try decreasing the stitch length, increasing the weight of the thread, using a strong thread type, changing the stitch type. Check to see if your needle is okay and is the correct size and type. Check the thread tension and thread path for anything that could be damaging the thread. Core spun threads. For apparel, core spun threads are the most durable thread. This is due to their core spun construction where approximately 60% of the thread is a continuous filament bundle of polyester fibers. Core spun threads are recommended for sewing, denim workwear and uniforms, military garments, etc. That will be exposed to demanding finishing or induce applications. Thank you for watching. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Please comment your valuable thoughts. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when I post a new presentation. Bye, have a good day.